The Lord God is in control. I see for our influence to be by the Lord used, the Lord in time, seasons and places, actively orchestrates our lifetime, times, seasons, and places to accomplish his will in blessing us to ever reveal him to ourselves and others. Based upon the life examples the Lord has given us in his word, it is good judgment for us to obey the Lord's word for living according to the Lord's direction during all times, seasons, and in all places. The Lord has proven to me we can trust him for giving us his guidance, for blessing us whenever and wherever we are, to be available at specific appointed time, seasons, and places is for us to be used according to the Lord's life-giving plans, for us to be a benefit to others whenever and wherever he places us. The Lord gives us instructions in his word to be abiding ever present with us. The Lord by his word and Holy Spirit is there whenever and wherever to say, here am I, that we may say, here am I, to his service, with our service. Because of his promises, we are assured the Lord God provides us with life-giving instructions to go with us whenever and wherever we go, that we may in time be enabled to say, for the Lord's service, here am I, even when it may most often not be clear to us that the Lord works in all situations, which guides us in time, place, and season, we have his promises to cling to. Job 23, 10 through 14. But he knoweth the way that I take, when he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. My foot hath held his steps, his way have I kept, neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. But he is in one mind, and who can turn him, and what his soul desireth, even that he doeth. For he performeth the thing that is appointed for me, and many such things are with him. Psalm 31, 19 Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Abraham's Encounter with God as the existence of Abraham, Abram, is made known in the Bible, we find that God is calling Abraham to leave the place familiar to him, where he is dwelling, and move to a place totally unknown and also unfamiliar to him. The significance I see in the unknown place first being introduced to the man Abram, is that it gives to us the reason why Abraham is called the friend of God and what it means to have faith. Abraham was called out of a place. He knew well to go to a place God was going to show him. By the information provided to us in the scriptures, we begin to see a main outstanding purpose of God's specific calling of Abraham. Abram, out of one place to go to another, being based upon God's purpose and how he saw Abram. 
God who ever looks upon the heart of man, seeing Abraham as a man through whom the Lord God could bless to be fruitful, multiply, and bless all families of the earth through his promised seed. The Lord God approached Abram according to the Lord's purpose for all mankind to receive the blessing of grace. Genesis 12, 1 through 7. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curses thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed, as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haram. And Abram took Sarah his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haram, and they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. And Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sichem, unto the place of Moray. And the Canaanite was then in the land, and the Lord appeared unto Abram, and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there builded he an altar unto the Lord, who appeared unto him.